Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to take time to take you on a tour of my basement. I know there's been a lot of people asking to see the whole collection and maybe to see the other room. So I'm going to take time today to kind of show you around my collection. Um, I won't be getting into every single title, but I will definitely show you every single shelf and all of my um, collectibles that I've got. And hopefully you'll enjoy what you see. Okay, right here's where I sit at my desk. So this is where I'm at whenever I'm doing my live streaming. Um, I've got my collectibles up here at the top. And I've got a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 poster over on the side. My Disney Infinity poster with Jack Skellington uh, where I used to collect the Disney Infinity um, items. And then I've got my big box sets that won't fit on the shelf on the back side of the top of my um, hutch on my desk and then some of my other box sets and my cap and some plaques and awards that I've got um, but yeah this is pretty much where I sit and edit my videos and work on my computer so pretty basic so as I come down the stairs down into the basement I have my Doctor Strange posters, just those two, Doctor Strange and Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness, and then this is what you see when you're watching my videos. I did add a whole center row of shelving because I was running out of space, but this is the long wall here of all of the posters. I'll show you this wall first. Up top I have my Academy Award gold slips all in alphabetical order and I've got my other um, Academy Award gold slips and I got my Universal 100 slips and my best of the decades slip covers. Then I got my Vestron slip covers and then on this shelf I start my uh, multi movie packs so something that wouldn't fit into the regular category I like to keep all the ones that have more than one film together on the shelf so with that that's what that row is and then I just start alphabetically going through all of the titles so everything's in alphabetical order I've got Blu-rays and DVDs all mixed together and then it just goes along this wall so everything's in alphabetical order and then as we get to the other side of the wall I've got my two movie and three movie and four movie film packs from Warner Brothers mostly they're all in blue and then I got my um, Blu-ray Essentials then my Warner Brothers um, Iconic Moments and then Paramount Presents all in numerical order and then my Harry Potter and then back to the alphabetical um, titles And then over here on the center row, I've got my, um, well let me show you these first. I got all of these long box sets that I've been collecting for years and years. I pretty much have all of them. Um, there are a few that I'm missing. I did have the Batman TV show, but I ended up selling that one and went with a smaller box. Now I kind of regret it. But I do think I have a majority of these. Let me have the Forrest Gump set. And over here, kind of dark. I'll turn on the light. We have our ET 40th Anniversary Edition Lunchbox set. Fantastic Beast. But on these shelves over here, I've got just um, some box sets, um, my Star Wars still books, 
my Jurassic Park still books and my Minion. And then over on this side, I have um, my Mondo still books. And then my Arrow titles all along this section. And then I've got my um, all of these movie slipcover editions. I've got my Titans of Cult over here on this section. Some miscellaneous titles. My Radiance titles. And back here on this back wall I've got my um, animated titles. So mostly it's Disney stuff. Well, let me show you these. I do have these um, DVDs that have the different shirts and jackets and such. I do like these. I pretty much have all of those in that collection. I think I'm missing maybe just a few that are really hard to find. Then I got my popcorn buckets and a little plush. I got my Harry Potter um, box sets, which I really love these Ultimate Editions. A lot of my Disney titles, DVDs, Blu-rays. Um, it's also got some other animated titles like Dr. Seuss, some Christmas titles. And then this section here. And then more over here. And then over here to this side, it's just, this is the um, bathroom. It doesn't really get used. I've got the water turned off down here because, you know, the last thing I want is for water to enter this basement area. And then over here on this long wall, I do have my Shout Factory and Screen Factory titles. So I have the black boxes at the top, the box sets at the top. And then um, everything in alphabetical order. I've got my Blu-rays separated from my 4Ks. I've got my Screen Factory separated from the Shout Factory. Then I've got my Still Books. Um, I got some of my, um, I guess, all of my Shout Select titles down there toward the bottom. And then some miscellaneous titles that didn't come with slip covers. And then that kind of discontinues over here to this wall where I've got my Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 poster, some popcorn buckets, zippers, and then all of my Screen Factory titles that don't have slips. Quite a few. And then, of course, I've got my um, some DVDs at the bottom. And then over on the other side of this section, this is where I keep all of the Criterion Collection. So all of these are Criterion Collections. I do have my regular releases separated from the digi, um, Digipacks. And then I also have the 4K separated from the Blu-rays. And then I have my 101 Films Black Label Collection. And then just the regular 101 Film titles. I've got my James Bond down here at the bottom. And I've got my Alfred Hitchcock down here at the bottom. And I've got some um, DC book style Blu-ray sets with the books. Came out a few years ago. I like those. So that's pretty much this room here on this side. And then I have my Second Sight titles on this shelf, which I really do enjoy the Second Sight releases. I've got all of the big sets. And then as we go around here, I've got my still books all on this back wall. So all of these big still books box sets are at the top. So all of those are at the top. And then I have all of my Disney still books in alphabetical order. 
There's quite a bit of those. It takes up pretty much two rows. Then after that, I've got my Marvel still books, and it takes up another two rows. That and the DC still books, and then I just start going in alphabetical order with all the other still books. So there are quite a bit in the collection. So that's all the way down to the H's. And then over here, the H's continue. And then everything's in alphabetical order. There's a very large still book collection. So all of those are still books. And then at the top up here, I've got more Disney. Um, my Disney Treasure Collection without the tens. I've got the tens put away. And then my Disney Movie Club exclusives, all in yellow. And then just various Disney DVDs. My Looney Tunes are up top. And then over here I've got the Scooby-Doo. And then all the Hanna-Barbera titles at the top. So that's pretty much this room. So now I'll take you into this other room that you've hardly ever seen before. It's kind of dark in this room. There's not very much lighting. But I've gone ahead and I've turned some lights on. So I'll show you this room. But it's still going to be a little dark. But up top on these shelves, um, I've got some of my really premium... Um, still book box sets so I really like these that they've done I got these from Zavi um, and I also got the still book that goes with each of these so that's what's up top one of my favorite collectible pieces is this predator head which the mask comes off so I love I love this it's probably one of my favorite pieces and it just comes on on and off I do keep these covered up to keep the dust from being on them. Then I've got my Terminator 2 Judgment Day head, which has some light effects and some sound effects. Which is pretty cool. And then I've got my Planet of the Apes Caesar head. And I've got my traditional Planet of the Apes films. Um, and the complete collection there inside of this. That's another one of my favorite pieces. And then I've got my saw set, which is not a favorite piece of mine. I've got my Puppet Master set. And I've got my Talk to Me, um, I guess, mummified hand all on this section. So really nice. And then up top, I've got some box sets. Um, so just a, a, an easy place to keep the extra box sets that really have nowhere else to go. And then on the shelves, I've got my umbrella titles going across the top. And then down to the middle. And then I've got my Raven Banner titles and my Cauldron Films titles, BFI, and my Synapse titles. So that's on the long side. Over here, I've got my um, Olive Films. All of those titles are my Olive Film titles, top and bottom. And then I've got my MVD Rewind Collection in numerical order going across the top shelf. And then some other um, MVD titles. And then some other titles. I've got my Classic Flicks Collection here. My 88 Films Jean-Claude Van Damme Collection with the slips. My Curzon Collection. And then my Nova Media, 
collection down on the middle and then my 88 films down on the bottom shelves and then just some mis miscellaneous titles I know they're really hard to see in the dark and then back here on this wall I've got my um, a few posters Marvel posters and then I've got all of these nice sets along the back top of the shelf and then my Studio Ghibli titles at the top and then my DreamWorks titles my Fox titles so all of the nice slip covers that I've got that I've done videos on are pretty much back here on this shelf so if you've ever seen any of my slipcover Saturday videos this is usually what I use for those. And then down at the bottom I've got my DC animated titles and my red Paramount um, 100 titles. And then over here I've got my Walking Dead collection. And then I've got my um, Evil Dead Rise book right there. And then on this back wall I wish I wish the lighting was better. Um, I do have some lights up, but I've got my Warner Brother um, box sets at the top. My Columbia Classics, some um, imprint box sets at the top, and then my Elvis. And then I've got my um, a few box sets at the top there my indicator releases without the box sets and then all of my indicator box sets going across the top and then this wall the top part is mostly all my 4k collection so those are all in alphabetical order a lot of 4k titles with the slip covers going all the way across that back wall And then we get down to my imprint films on the middle section. And then my Eureka titles down below that. And then down on that bottom shelf, all the way on the right hand side, those are all Warner Archive titles. And then I've got my Studio Canal titles down there on the bottom shelf. And then along this back area I've got some Disney things my Disney lithograph with a pin we do collect the Disney pins and so we got this at Disney World way back when my kids were little so we've had that for many years then my Disney um, I, I got these blu-ray books Alice in Wonderland and Cinderella and then my Disney 100 silver slips and then all of those still books that nobody wanted until they were ten dollars then my Marvel titles blu-rays and 4k's are all on this area here and then back here we've got my A24 collection so all of these are my A24 titles with blu-rays and 4k's combined And then I've got some of the um, the nicer sets from A24. And then I've got my Lego box sets down at the bottom. Then along this back side of the shelves, this is where I've got some more um, Universal Classic Monster movies sets, my Hammer films. with slip covers from the UK and then I've got all of my vinegar syndrome stuff on this back section and they are all grouped by their label so anything with vinegar syndrome um, with the little icon on it are all together 
So I'll keep those all together. And then all of the sub labels that they've got now, I keep all of those separated. So they're all in order. So as I'm ordering my studio, as I'm ordering my Vinegar Syndrome titles, it's easier for me to know what I've got and what to look for. Then I've got my Severin and my Code Red, my, um, what is this one called? Is it Blue Underground maybe? Yeah, I think that's Blue Underground. And then I've got my Kino Lorber um, box sets. So that's that area. So that's pretty much everything I just showed you is all in that area. And then along the back wall, this is where all my TV shows are. Um, my collecting pretty much started with all the TV show stuff. So that whole back wall, most of this is all TV shows. So at the top, I've got some of the TV show box sets. Quite a few. I try to keep those all at the top. It kind of makes it more uniform looking. And I do apologize about the bad lighting. But all of this um, first two shelves are nothing but TV shows. So all of the Blu-ray titles are up top. And they're all in alphabetical order. So, you know, just row after row of TV shows. And then below these, I've got the DVD TV shows, which that's pretty much where the collection started is, the, of course, the DVD TV shows. Some of my favorite TV shows I've got in this collection. I've got a lot of good favorite TV shows. I love watching TV. And like I said, that's where my collecting really started. That and the Disney. So those are all of those. And then as we move over to this last shelf, this is where all my Kino Lorper titles are. So I have all of my slipcover editions first with the 4Ks. And then the Blu-rays. And then those that do not come with the slipcover are separated out. So quite a few titles. And then I've got some pretty rare Kino Loper titles. A lot of these Buster Keaton titles are really hard to come by. And then I've got my um, Digibooks down below. I'll try to keep all the heavier weight down at the bottom. So those are all of my Digibooks and my Media Books down here. So I'm just going to get you a nice shot. And then, as we enter in on the other side of the room, this is where my home theater is. And um, I've got some of my favorite movies, um, posters up. Um, Friday the 13th, Jaws, Beetlejuice, and E.T. Um, my wife got me a popcorn machine and it is horrible it doesn't work very well it takes forever to pop popcorn so i don't know i no longer use it unfortunately but this is kind of where i sit to watch my movies it's pretty comfortable and then we just kind of got it decorated with some retro um theater like signs and then over here is my tv setup And I always have a hard time remembering exactly what kind of equipment I use. So I'll just kind of put that up on the screen. But I've had, I've had this equipment since 2019. And so this is where I watch my movies. I don't have a lot of space down here. Um, so I didn't get a really large TV. But I did get something that I enjoy. And um, so that's pretty much everything. So this is the other room that nobody hardly ever gets to see, but this is where I spend a majority of my time. 
I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my basement tour. Hopefully you liked what you saw. Um, I do hope to make this an annual thing so that way you can keep up with the changes that I make down here in the basement. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.